Is there, are you kind of getting tired of Aesop Winston? Uh, you know, it's just a constant battle. He making me better, I'm making him better. You know, we talk smack, it's just what we do, make practice fun. It seems like that dynamic between you guys and the wide receivers is just one of the one of the better uh, viewing pleasures of each practice. Oh yeah, you know, Coach McVab said you got a conscious choice to come into practice and either do good or do bad, it's all up to you. So I just try to come in with a good attitude. You kind of get some of the trash talking from, from your coaches? Oh yeah, of course. Uh, the offensive coaches talk trash to me, I talk trash back. I try to keep it to a limit though. How glad are you to have Dar Darcel as kind of the full-time corners coach this year and he was elevated and I know it's maybe maybe similar to last year where he's still in the field but yeah. what's it been like uh, so far in spring? Oh it's great I like I wouldn't have wanted anybody other than Coach McBath he knows us he's like a family guy he comes in he talks to us he still gets on the grind with us he does everything so it's pretty good to have Coach McBath other than anybody else. What's it like with Darian you and Sean Harper I mean you guys I mean basically three bona fide starters. Yeah it's all it's all competition you know, no spot solidified until the game starts. So we just constantly battle. We still, we all like best friends in the DB core. So it's not like I want somebody to go down or I want somebody to do bad that day. I want everybody to do their best, keep me going, to keep them going. You like the fact that this is one of the harder uh, position battles that, that's most likely going to go until the week one of the season. Oh yeah, I love it. You know, competition makes everybody step the game up. It's making me a better player. It's making them better. So I really like the competition of what we're doing at the DB spot. We're trying to be the best in the conference again. What's it like going up against Desmond Patton? Just a big, I mean, could be a tight end on any other offense, but what's that like? It's fun with Des, because Des, will, he'll talk trash before. He's like, I'm going to mosh you today. And I'll be like, you ain't catching the ball with me today. So we actually, me and Des, we bring the trash talking back into the locker room. So it's pretty fun going against Des. The big body helps you with all the big other Pac-12 receivers. So with like Aesop and Des and Tay, it gives you a mixture of what you're going to see in like real life games. Is Des di pretty different on the field compared to off the field? It, it, just doesn't, it doesn't seem like he's the, the biggest talker off the field. Oh, yeah. Dez is uh, he real different uh, on the field than off the field. We get in the locker room. We, like, we just talk about he got a longboard, so we'll talk about that all the time. He can't ride it. So, <laughs> but then when we get on the field, he's all, he's all talk, big guy. He's got to talk big. Does is, is he try and bring some of that, that, I guess, that San Diego swag up here? Yeah, he always talking about San Diego, San Diego this, talking about it's the beautiful city in the country. I always talk about Rialto. I'm from Rialto. <laughs> So I always say Rialto, the best city in the world. As a unit, getting the respect level at the top of the conference, what do you guys have to do to get that? Well, we just got to keep doing what we're doing, keep our technique up, and keep grinding, because it's pretty hard in this conference to get the respect you want. So we just got to keep pushing for what we want, because if we don't go for it, we ain't going to get it. You guys see more, more passes to, throughout a practice than probably anyone in the country is as DBs. How do you guys embrace that as, as corners and, and you know getting that much practice and, and seeing the area every day? It's real good, like not going against the run every day. It doesn't wear down on your body. When we see a lot of the pass, it helps us get our technique down. So like when we go into the season, we're real good. So that helps a lot that we go against the air raid because most people struggle with them, so that makes us better. How much quieter has it been without Pip out there this spring? Oh, it's been a lot. <laughs> it's been a little toned down. You know, you kind of miss the man out there dancing and talking trash. You know, we miss everybody, Pip and Rob. You know, it's a, it's a lot to get used to. Who's your favorite to, to trash talk, wide receiver-wise? If you had to pick one person to, to trash talk for the rest of the season? I'd have to say it's close between Aesop or Jameer. What is it about Jameer? Because it, it seems any opportunity he has, he's going to, you know, rub it in your guys' Yeah, Jameer is spicy. Jameer will have a bad play, he'll still talk trash. Then he get a good play, he'll throw the ball up like the bad play didn't happen. So it's pretty good to go up against Jameer. Hit trash talk. That's what people from Pasadena do. All they do is talk trash. So. <laughs> you guys good? You